Hello everyone. This video is intended to be a brief look at Pelican's newest M205 fountain pen, the Appetite. This model goes along with their Eidelstein Ink of the Year series. This is their 2022 release. And you can see right off the get-go that it's a demonstrator, it means the barrel has translucency, so you can see the inner workings of the piston and the ink chamber, so you know how much ink is left in the pen at any given moment. This model has chromium plated trim, so it has a silver appearance to the furniture um, versus the gold of the M200 series. It's overall a uh, really a nice sized pen, especially when you post it. It has a nice balance when you post it. Uh, the nib here is an unplated stainless steel. In my case, it's a fine nib. Uh, very standard stuff for Pelican. There's just the Pelican uh, name and logo with the width uh, stamped at the base. The feeds on Pelican's nibs tend to be very uh, wet and generous. Um, the piston moves very freely and can easily be serviced if it needs to be re-lubricated. Uh, these hold a decent bit of ink. I believe uh, Pelican quotes 1.2 uh, milliliters. Overall, uh, this is a good, dependable workhorse pen. You put it away for a bit, you pull it out, it's still going to write. Um, not that you should leave it for long periods of time inked, uh, but generally these do resist drying out pretty well. Besides pricing, which is uh, always a black eye for uh, Pelican, especially in the United States market, um, I guess the biggest uh, gripe I have is more of an aesthetic one in terms that the uh, cap nut here, this uh, crown looking piece around the cap top is a black plastic and every other pen to match their Eidelstein line, they have had chromium or uh, gold plated uh, crown nut there. Um, that's something that came about in the you know 2000s and then all of a sudden 2021, they did an about face. Personally, I think it's cost and supply chain issues, probably limiting them from being able to get those parts, and hence we went back to the black plastic. But it's noticeable because it is incongruent with the appearance of the rest of the pen, and it's noticeable particularly when you look at it in line with all the other ones in the series, it definitely stands out. Um, it doesn't have any effect on the function of the pen, it's more just an aesthetic choice, but I feel like the omission of it is definitely something that's... Um, uh, noticeable. It may bother you, it may not, but just something to point out. Otherwise, it's a very well-made pen, a uh, durable pen that I think will provide many years of uh, reliable use. So that's just a brief look at Pelican's M205 Appetite Demonstrator.